Watch Mitchell Dillman stealing woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. This episode brought to you by Cannibal Professional Nibbler and TrickTools.com. Hey, what's up? It's Mitchell Dillman here. You remember this set of custom table legs? I made it a few years ago. And last year, did a whole series on sheet metal art. Today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take one project from beginning to finish, make some cool sheet metal art furniture. Let's do this. So a couple months ago, I got a call from a co company over in Australia about this new tool. They'd been working on it for several years, but they wanted to know if I'd be interested to try it out. I said, sure, send it on. It's called a cannibal. It's made for cutting sheet metal and other thin gauge sheet material. And it's got me to thinking, you know, we've made a lot of furniture. We've done a lot of metal art. Today, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to combine the two. We're going to take this tool, start from scratch, start right here with a drawing, sketch something up, take it all the way through to the finish. We've already taken time to cut out a little mock-up, so I've got kind of an idea where I'm headed, but I'm not really, don't have the dimensions or anything like that yet. So let's start with a drawing right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at are our dimensions. I want to make a standing table standing bar table. So we're going to go 42 inches tall and for a two top table I think we're looking at uh, 28 by 32. Let's just do it that. All right so for this wooden tabletop I've got a cool piece of Douglas fir out there that we're going to do a full glue up. But before we do that we're going to start with the framework, the metal framework. For that we're going to use this quarter inch by two inch strap, some 3 8 inch round bar, then we're going to skin out the whole thing with some 18 gauge sheet metal. We've already taken time to run over to Glazer Steel to get everything we need, so let's jump right into this and get started. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a minute to draw out the exact size of our tabletop, and then we're going to take our four foot level here and make it mark from corner to corner so that it'll help me determine the actual size of our framework underneath that we're going to cut our two inch by quarter inch strap. All right, so before we can start cutting our sheet metal with our cannibal, we've got to get our steel framework set up. And for that, we're going to use our Ellis metal cutting bandsaw that we get from our friends over at tricktools.com. Now we'll just come in three quarters of an inch from each end, make a little mark and drill us a hole where our tabletop will fasten. So what we're looking to do here is take these outside edges, just clean them up and deburr them. But on the inside here where they're going to weld together, we want to make sure to get a really good weld. So we're going to take time to put a good chamfer on both sides of this. Since we're going to be freeforming these legs in place, I'm going to take time now to weld on this temporary brace. It's just a temporary piece that we're going to weld here to hold this whole thing in place while we form the rest of the legs. Alright, so we got these feet tapped. 
We're gonna go ahead and weld them down to the table temporarily while we get this thing framed up. So now I'm just gonna take a piece of wire and I'm gonna work with it to determine the length I need for my 3 8 inch rod. I'm seeing half of there. Alright, so now that we've got this piece cut down to be a little more manageable, it's going to be easier to set this cannibal up over here on this table mount. It's going to make the whole thing work a little easier, I think. So we've got all four of our pieces cut. And that cannibal really did a good job. Doesn't leave any burrs. You see I can run my hand right down the edge of it. The next step's pretty simple. We're gonna take time to get these things shaped, get them formed to fit. Then it's simply a matter of getting them welded up, grinding them down. Let's get to work. Alright, so while I'm back here working on this, we've already glued up a tabletop for Alex to get busy on. That's what I'm talking about. You know, when I set out to make this thing, I didn't want a wobbly stand-up table. And you can see here, this is one stable table. 
We've got the adjustable feet on it. The brands are a bit right here, visible underneath. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this tabletop. Then we'll shoot the uh, legs with a clear coat and this will be ready to go. Couldn't have made this without the cannibal or our tools that we get from tricktools.com. Click subscribe if you haven't done that already. Come back next week. We're gonna get started right now with a design drawing up the matching bar stools to go with this table. They're gonna be the same, but different. We'll see you next week.